Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for a um, very unexpected video, but uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have fun. So two days ago now, or the fifteenth, there's Rico. He's having fun back there. The fifteenth of April was my birthday, and uh, my little sister kept telling me she had gotten me a really big present that uh, I should be excited for. I didn't know exactly how big she meant. Um, this is an this is an entire almost completely new in box Trackmaster and Tomy collection. This is... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I still can't believe this is even real. This is a new in box Busy B. James. I, yeah, I haven't seen one of these since I was like 12, and here it is. And believe it or not, she got all of this for free. This was all going to be thrown away. It turns out she had a co-worker who also used to collect Trackmaster and Tomy. This had been sitting in a barn and was going to be thrown to the scrapyard. And talk about save from scrap. This is, there is so much here. I don't know if you can see him right there. Yeah, there is so much here we have to talk about today. And I, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not excited. Holy shit, let's just get into it. Let's, let's just get into this. I don't think I've ever had a birthday present that was this much or this sentimental or just... This insane, honestly, let's just, let's just get into it before I start crying again. When I first saw this and she opened up her trunk and car to reveal that this was the present, I kind of bawled like a baby, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. So really quick, thank you so much, Sissy, and shout out to Ian for helping me get this new collection and jump-starting the Trackmaster and Tomy stuff right back. Just, just... Let's just get into this. You guys are not ready for what you're about to see. All right, so I think the best way to do this, I know we're all excited to get to the box stuff, but let's start with these things here, since these are the engines and uh, cars that aren't in boxes, and then we'll jump over to these things. And don't worry, there's, there's some gems in here too, so we'll get to that in a second. Okay, all right, so I think we'll start with, again, these things, the ones that are uh, kind of loose and not in boxes and... You see him. I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Trackmaster Rocky. And I, I, I never have even had one of these. Yes, he works. We have a freaking basically or damn close to brand new Trackmaster Rocky. Now, I'm not sure yet if I have his crate, but I do know he is functioning. As you can see here, uh, I'm not going to get too into this guy, at least in this video, because I'd like him to have his, you know, his own separate review, since I've never really, I'm just excited about this thing. I never was lucky enough to get one of these as a kid, but I've got one now, and I think we should share that excitement together in its own video, so we'll get to that later. Um, we also have Neville, which, um, it's just so cool to see a Neville again, like, look at this guy. His face is a little bit sun bleached, but as a whole, this guy is in great condition, he works as well, and freaking Caroline. Caroline, I never even knew Trackmaster made a Caroline, or when I saw it, I was just, I, are you serious? Just look at her, just look at this sweet pea. Just such a nice model, and I'm pretty sure I've tested all three of these at this point, they all should be working, but they are the only three that I've really taken out of these crates here. So I think we're just gonna cut the talk in and finally figure out what's inside of these. Let's start with the engine one first. Okay. All right. Let's get to that, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's start with the top one first, which should be the engines. Now, I do want to warn again, some of these were, or not some of them, most of this was stored in a barn. So some of these will have some sun damage. They won't be in the best shape. I'll probably either try to restore them. They might be used for parts. Uh, we'll just see. Let's just jump into this and see what's in here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just start with the banger we see right on top. We've got a flip face Toby. Now, I did pull him out and test him when I uh, first looked into this thing, cleaned him off just a little bit. I still need to finish that, as you can see. 
Um, he so far does not work. Um, I'm pretty sure his wires are fine. It might just be that I need to clean his contacts, maybe do a little bit more work on him, but we do have this guy now as well. So we've got James and now Toby. You know, we did talk about him already, but we've got Neville and his Tinder. He was taken out of this as well. We also have Caroline and Rocky, which we will have a, a separate video on, hopefully not too long from now. But let's jump into the rest of this stuff. All right, first up here, we have a Talking Thomas. Now, it looks like this one is a little bit off of its chassis. That shouldn't be too hard of a fix. I'm not sure if this one works yet, but um, let's see. yeah, it looks like the wires are at least all right on this outside area. Awesome, we've got one of these now, or at least a spare one. Let's see here. We've got Mighty Mac, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe his car is somewhere around here as well. And what's kind of interesting about him is you can see... Uh, Mighty's face is pretty sun bleached, and then if we flip it over to Mac, there is no sun bleaching at all. So it's almost like, like here's a Tugs character, here's a Thomas character. It's kind of cool, but we've now we've got a Mighty Mac. Let's see here, we've got a Clarabelle. I believe this is the one from the Steam Along, Thomas, since it's a little larger, but I could be wrong. And we've got Annie here, got the classic. Oh, we got a little bit of sun bleaching here on the top of Annie, which gives her a little bit of a interesting contrast, but. There's those two. We've got, oh, Diesel Tin. Feels like he's got a battery in him. Let's see. That's a little, oh, goodness. He does have a, oh, boy. Oh, gonna have to probably clean this guy out to get him to run properly again. But, uh, hey, spare Diesel Tin. Can't complain about that. Looks like that face is in phenomenal condition. This is in really good shape, save for that battery, which, um, you know, how? who knows how long it was in there. This is a really good condition diesel tin. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This one is really interesting to me. So we have splatter, and I've not really had a uh, Trackmaster or Tomy splatter before, so this is really cool. There's a uh, new in-box one. We'll see a little bit uh, later from now. But as you can see, he's normal on this side. Flip him over, and he's completely desaturated from the sun. And I just think that looks... That just looks so cool. It looks like a color changer Hot Wheels that's halfway changed between the colors it can be that is just so cool and it's a perfect example for what sun can do to models or trains or anything with paint on it it will desaturate the hell out of whatever colors you got and there's your proof i mean say for that this splatter seems to be in phenomenal condition that face is awesome everything about you know maybe a good cleaning which most of this stuff is probably gonna need but say for that this thing is looking great this one confused the hell out of me when i first saw it it is a Hit Toy Terrence, and I, I didn't even know Trackmaster made Terrence, or at least a motorized one. I knew that Tommy did in the uh, Lumberyard set. Looks like Trackmaster did, or did too, and we've got Caroline to go with him. He looks a little weird without the plow, but this is a really nice model. You know, I think I'm going to need to invest in some Tommy Road to get these guys going, especially when we start the Trackmaster layout, which at this point feels a bit essential. Let's see here, we've got a Duncan, and this Duncan also has a little bit of fading, as you can see here. The uh, desaturation works his way back through uh, to the cab area here. Pretty much the same on this side, but the entire sticker has uh, been overtaken. Save for that again, phenomenal condition. That face looks great. This is a really nice model. It's also been so long since I've seen Trackmaster Duncan, so this is just this is just kind of cool. We've got a Scruffy, a classic Tommy Scruffy. What's the date on this guy? 2002. We've got a 2002 Tommy Scruffy, and this thing is in phenomenal condition. Like, the face is perfect. There's no distress here to anything on the side. Awesome. All right, we've got a new Scruffy. We've got all... Okay, so here we've got an Edward. What's the date on this guy? 2002 as well and this guy he's definitely been in the sun i mean the sticker here seems to have lasted pretty damn well but the rest of them including the face uh, that's pretty saturated but i'm not gonna i don't hate it this is this is an edward that had some love this is definitely this has some memories to it this is this is a toy that was enjoyed and that's something i'd rather see than just you know a bunch of toys that are uh you know, never really had the chance, and we'll get to those shortly, but wow, just look at this guy. That There's got to be, if he could tell some stories, I wonder what he would say. Probably out. Do you have any sunscreen? But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an Emily. Now, 
Emily's in pretty damn good shape. We've got a little bit of saturation here on the uh, left side of the face, as you can see, but save for that. Looks like she just needs a quick dusting and some testing. The tender looks like it's in great condition. Looks like Emily's a go. We've got, oh, here's the car for Mighty Mac. Looks like this one doesn't have much sun damage at all. Just needs a good cleaning. And this guy should be right back to running the rails as well. We've got, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Boko. Now it looks like this one's got some mud on him. So he's definitely gonna need a cleaning, um, but I'll probably need to resecure this sticker down here. But past that, this thing is in really nice shape. The face has no chips, no paint missing. The roof is a little bit, you know, messy. We could probably fix that pretty easily with some rubbing alcohol or a new coat of white, though. This is a nice little dude. All right, we've got Boko. Let's, we've got another Duncan. And this one, all right, this one has no sun damage at all. He's just dirty. I mean, a little bit of saturation on the face, but if we really wanted, we could probably just swap these, and I'm probably going to do that anyway since I like this one more. That is, that's awesome. All right, two Duncans. I'm actually not sure what the difference in the face is. Let me know in the comments. Is it just like a, let's see. Well, this is a, no, they're both 2006. Why do they have different faces? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Let's see, we've got a Billy. And unfortunately, Billy, he's he's seen some sun. As we can see from this side here, a little bit on this side as well. And especially the back, He he's seen some better days. But it's still cool to know that Billy's even around. He, this is infinite custom potential. You know, if I ever wanted to, I could customize any of these or use them for parts, but I'm really not sure if I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm undecided on what the ultimate fate of what most of this will be. You know, this was somebody's childhood. I don't wanna just mess it up. And a lot of the new inbox stuff will hopefully go on display. You know, kinda wanna get on my muddy poppin' stuff and have a whole Trackmaster area, but we'll talk more about that later. Again, here's just Billy. Not too bad a saturation here on the face. It looks like he was facing the sun this way and just, yeah, you can kind of tell. But it, it looks kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Seeing models that are saturated like this, it, it has a weird, I don't want to say uncanny feeling to it, but it just feels so different and interesting. Billy and Splatter are perfect examples of that. All right, we've got Stepney, and you know, it looks like Stepney's in almost perfect condition. These stickers are phenomenal. That face looks great. There's no or not really any paint missing from the front. Just needs a little bit here on the top, and he's right back to it. Maybe a little bit of cleaning, and boom, we've got a Stepney. Let's see, we've got Arthur, and same thing with Stepney. Just needs a bit of a cleaning, and he should be perfect. The face looks great. A little bit of saturation there on the right side, but it doesn't really show up on anything else. He's just nice looking. We've got a nice Arthur now. Let's see. We've got Elizabeth... Now, unfortunately, her face is pretty well done in, but it looks like that's the only bit of her that is. It feels like she has a battery in her, but I don't think she does. I don't have a screwdriver, sadly. She looks pretty damn good, too. Again, unfortunately, the face is a bit tanned out, kind of like Mighty on Mighty Mac, but everything else safe from that is pretty... It just needs a bit of a cleaning, and she's ready to go. Is that... Bi we've got Bill and Ben. Let's see. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the... Ironworks Twins. Now, it looks like Ben... Oh, yeah. Ben is in need of a serious cleaning. And, um... Looks like that traction tires went for a bit of a trip. But, uh... I mean, safe from that. Uh, just a little bit of sun fading on both. And they both look pretty dang good. Let's see, what's the date on them? We've got a 1999 Bill and a 1999 Ben. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, just gotta clean those two off. We've got... Bulgy, and Bulgy has quite a bit of sun, he, he's almost turned white, as you can see here, um, a little bit on the side as well, and is pretty much mint on this side, it's pretty cool to see, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like Bulgy with this white instead of cream lining or accenting, that is, that's really interesting, we've got, is that Toby, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Toby, what's the date on this boy, 1997, we've got a 1999 1997, I literally just said that, my bad. 97, Toby, and he looks pretty damn good. I mean, same with, uh, who was I just talking about when I said I needed to redo the roof? Stepney. He just needs a little bit of white here on the top, and he is right back to basically being mint. This is a nice little mop. I think this is the oldest Toby I've ever owned as well. 97, that's, that's pretty damn cool. Let's see, we've got a Henry, ladies and gentlemen, and the date on this guy is 2002. 
got a little bit of bending here in the side rods, and I don't... Yeah, it doesn't look like too much sun damage. Maybe a little bit here on the tinder, but save for that, Henry is looking damn good. His face is looking great. We've got some... Get that switch off. He still seems to run pretty decently. You know, I might just need to straighten those out, get a battery in him, and give him a test run. And save for that... This Henry's looking pretty nice. So just, a, just a little bit of desaturation here on the ends of the tinder. And that aside, this is a phenomenal little dude. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Scarlowie. The date on this guy. This is a Hit Toys 2006 Scarlowie. And maybe a little bit of saturation here on the top of the face and top of the cheek area. Almost like he's kind of sunburned. Other than that, perfect condition. Just needs a bit of a cleaning. Definitely needs to be dusted off. I'll probably just do a mass cleaning of all these engines and wagons, and from there, just, uh, you know, there you go. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll do that later. Ladies and gentlemen, we have freaking Lady. This is this makes my second Lady, and just she's still so cool to see and hold in my hand. Lady was very elusive when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I got her for a Christmas one year, and it took my grandparents or maybe my parents. Whoever got it for me, it took them a lot of searching they finally found me a lady and um it's kind of the same thing as an adult it was a lot of effort to find here, she's right here the lady i currently have now i've got two that, that's pretty freaking if i ever need one for a crash scene or anything else there we go we've now got a spare so can't complain at that cannot complain at that and just really quick i want to throw it out there that i'm not planning to sell any of this if anybody has any offers or anything don't leave them in the comments. They're going to go unanswered. This is all stuff that I plan to, again, either restore, maybe use for parts. And I also want to start a very large Trackmaster collection, maybe even a museum one day. And um, kind of just be on my muddy popping stuff. So none of this is for sale. Just going to throw that out there at this point. But yeah, let's get back to the trains. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Thomas here. And it looks like the date on this guy is 2002 whoa get that little dust bit off of there for a 2002 thomas and you know seeing the other stuff in here this guy looks great I, it feels like there's a battery in there let's go ahead and yes there was but it doesn't look like the contacts are too dirty really at all this is basically a mint 2002 thomas whoa that that's pretty freaking cool i'm not gonna lie this is that that's awesome let's see it looks like here we've got another annie and this one is kind of like some of these other guys it's got a, a saturated right side and the left side is just fine and the face is kind of half and half which is kind of cool you know interesting to see at the very least and last but not least here in this train box we have a rosie which almost looks like she's been working you know, somewhere very dusty like just just the top part of her has been um sun bleached and the bottom is pretty much all right all around uh even the face is just fine but uh yeah there is that it's pretty hard on the back as well uh, interesting very interesting at the very least and that gets us through the train box which means the only one that's left now in the non-box stuff or new in box stuff is this stuff the wagons all right, there's quite a bit to talk about with this one. I don't think it'll be as long, but let's uh, let's just jump into it. We've got a passenger car here, and this is in tremendous shape. I don't think I have any passenger cars yet, so there we go. Whenever I get a Gordon, boom, he's got something to pull. We've got, look at that, we've got a classic Tommy Toad. What's the year on this one? 2002, and he just looks phenomenal. This is in beautiful shape doesn't look like there's any there's a little bit of fading or saturation here on the right side but nothing too serious at all we've got oh we've got some Trackmaster brake vans i'm not gonna lie these are some of the best or some of my favorites uh brake vans or pieces of rolling stock Trackmaster ever did look how realistic and detailed these things are and we've got both variants we've got the red one and we've got the slightly smaller brown and yellow variant so boom there's that is that a, is that a, we have another Elizabeth. Oh my, this one's, would you look at that? We've got another freaking Elizabeth and this one does not have any bleaching on the face at all. Just needs a bit of a cleaning. Holy shit. That is awesome. Okay. So we've got another Elizabeth. That is awesome. Let's see. Is that enough? We've got another Claire. It looks like this one's a steam along as well. This one, it's got that long or longer body variant to it. Uh, it's missing a back coupler, but 
Oh, there's another Clarabelle. We've got, ah, uh, we've got some tracks in here for the Talking Thomas. We got four right here. There might be some more in there that I can't see. We've got some green troublesome truck, or not troublesome trucks, just green normal trucks. And these are in pretty damn good condition too. Doesn't look like there's any saturation on either. There we go. Looks like some nice little hit era consists maybe coming soon. Oh my, okay, we've got a lot of these Tomy Troublesome Trucks, and these ones look great. I mean, a little bit of saturation here on these bottom two, but the top one here looks phenomenal. Same with this one as well. Oh, that's one of my favorite faces right there, that little ugh, face. Oh, goodness. We've got, okay, so there's four right here. Let's see. That makes five. A little bit of saturation here on the front of this one. Six, and this one, another one of these ones, and this one's basically perfect. That's awesome. And seven. We've got seven. It looks like, are there more? No, there's more. Well, this is the seventh one. Uh, Cut this face again. Here is number eight. This one is probably the best condition of this truck variant we've got. Look at that. This one looks really good. What was that? Was that number eight? So is this number nine? I gotta recount. Motherfuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. And here is number nine. And this one is, yep, this one's in almost mint condition as well. Wow. All right, so we've got nine new troublesome trucks here. And it actually looks like that's finally the end of that. We've got nine troublesome trucks. And here's a fifth piece of the Talking Thomas track. Oops, kind of missed that one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the larger mine wagon. Now, this one flips, as you can see here, to be an open truck or a coal truck. It's got a little bit of saturation here on the left side and the front, but nothing too bad. What is, is this a Geotrack? This is not a Thomas product. It looks like a Geotrack. That's even freaking cooler. Never mind, there's two Geotracks. We've got, oh hell yeah, we've got some tankers. Two Sodor, well, one Sodor fuel tanker and one just a normal fuel tanker. These things look pretty damn good. And I, this is, I think, my first tar wagon ever. I don't think I ever had one of the normal tar trucks. What's the date on this one? 2006. This is a 2006 tar wagon. So we got three different tankers. We've got, let's see, we got a little cattle truck or uh, this one's full of chickens. We got a little Farmer McColl's folding side thing uh truck here as well and it, as you can see there's little chickens inside of the coops pretty nice little detail just needs a bit of a cleaning oh we've got the breakdown crane and it looks like this thing is in perfect condition as well there's no saturation or anything everything hooks up it still rotates basically a freaking mint breakdown crane there we go that's freaking awesome okay i'm seeing some loads so let's go ahead and knock those out we've got a believe this is a slate load that goes in one of the slate trucks like you see here. So there's one of those. Let's see, we've got two of these classic lumber loads. I believe these came from the uh, set with Thomas, or I think it was included in the set with Thomas and Terrence. And these will now rest in one of the troublesome trucks. That, lo that just looks and feels so vintage. That just feels so right this, this is awesome let's see we've got some paint drums here a little bit of saturation here on the bottom and this uh, little back area but nothing too bad got the stickers applied still on all sides this looks like a halo i think this might be uh, a halo you'd throw in i guess a troublesome truck we've got two more slate wagons as we can see here and these are in perfect condition looks like duncan will have some work as well you know, since they're here, let's go ahead and knock them out. We've got a wooden Thomas, and it looks like the date on this guy is 2003, I think. A 2003 wooden Thomas that is in freaking perfect condition, basically. We've got a, is this the 60th anniversary? Yes, the 60th anniversary Silver Percy, also in pretty damn good condition. A little bit of saturation here on the front, but I mean, just look at that. That is unexpected, but dope. Now, here's a Brio Padre operated train, and I've never seen one of these before, but what's cool about it is the uh, engineer is how it works. If he's um, in this middle section, I assume that's off, forward is forward, and backwards for backwards. And it kind of has a Thomas look to it. This thing is adorable, and I love the little figure in the back. That is awesome. 
We've got two of these little crate loads. I thought these were what uh, Rocky came with, but upon closer inspection, it is not. I think these are just uh, random loads for, yeah, troublesome trucks or something like that. Uh, if I'm wrong, be sure to let me know in the comments, though. I, I'm not 100% sure. We've got another Clarabelle. This one in... Wow, this one is in perfect condition, basically. I don't see anything immediately wrong with... Even the roof is... You're just missing a little white spot there. The stickers look phenomenal. Dang, basically a mint Clarabelle. And... All right, it's been a long time since I've seen these, but these are some of my favorite pieces of rolling stock. We've got this much longer uh, open wagon, and here we have another rotating load wagon. This one goes from a, a coal truck to a, uh, what would you call that? I guess maybe just iron and tools and stuff. Either way, just look at the detail on it. These things are phenomenal, and I believe they came in a pack with one of the brake vans back in the day. Could be wrong, but ladies and gentlemen, that is the rolling stock box. We've got some extra stuff here, like some, uh, little instruction manuals. We've got, what's this? A busy day pamphlet, just pamphlets and stuff like that, and a traffic cone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to this new in-box stuff. I am so freaking excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're all at least a little bit excited to get into this new in-box, or at least boxed stuff that, you know, we got to look at earlier. I still have yet to figure out exactly what all this is, so we're going to get a live reaction um, of what, you know, we now have to put in the collection. But uh, let's start with the stuff that's my favorite. This is a new in-box Dodge and Splatter, as we can see here. Just look at that. I've never even seen a new in-box Splatter before. And here he is. This is just freaking shock. And look at that. Look at that $10 price tag on both of them. Let's see, where were these, where were these sold at? I'm not a hundred, it doesn't say on the tag, but probably like a Kmart or a Walmart. J Cope eBay resellers, just, just freaking look at that. That is, that is so cool. We saw him earlier, you know, here he is, Busy B. James. And I guess what's so cool about this one is I did have him as a kid. It, Busy B. James is just one of my favorite variants of James ever. He's my favorite character. I really like bees. Uh, a little off topic, but I'm actually looking at becoming a beekeeper soon, so why not, you know, have my favorite character as a bee too in one of my favorite brands, freaking Trackmaster. I came within a hair of buying a used one of these that wasn't even in box and in pretty rough shape for like 80 bucks just like a month ago. And look at this. Somehow I end up with a brand new in box one right here. And the, you know, you can see the plastic's pretty sun damaged but it doesn't look like the engine is at all his face his body the wagon everything looks phenomenal in this thing i oh my this is just this is this is a little too much i'm just splatter dodge busy bj it's I, I just freaking wow all right let's see we've got a duck ladies and gentlemen with sc ruffy and it looks like this one is not new in box let's see here uh yeah this one has been opened before we've got a little bit of sun fading on duck as we can see but we've got the four pieces of curved track we've got sc ruffy look at that what's the date on this guy 96 this is a 1996 duck and the scruffy is 2002 2002 scruffy 96 duck with the box and honestly not very bad fading at all it's kind of it's pretty minimal and it's really just on the one side so yeah, there's that one. We've got Molly, and it looks like Molly is pretty similar to Duck, where she's been taken out before, but um, still comes with her box, which looks phenomenal, as we can see here. Just look at that classic Tomy layout. That is, there's so much nostalgia in this. It's a little sun faded, just a little bit on the back tender and the face, um, but nothing too bad. We've got those two. Let's see what else is in here. All right, let's go back to the top-down view. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Carnival Fun wagon pack, and just look at that. Just look at that elephant in there. We've got the fireworks. We've got the little ring a bottle on the flatbed there on the bottom, and it looks like this one is new in box. Yeah, this tape has not been opened anywhere. This one is brand new in box. Just needs to be dusted off a little bit. Wow. That, that's kind of insane to see, I'm not gonna lie. Well, we got another one. We've got this one with the blue brake van. We've got the 
ice cream truck and we've got the mining car then i believe that load flips from either being uh, that bronze top or a uh, copper like we see to being a uh, gravel load wow and here on the back we can see the uh different ones they had this is the one that i was talking about earlier i think the scruffy one is the only one of these that we don't have because if you see right here we've got this one this is the one with the 3d face toad it's got a beautiful mail van it's got this little green gwr van down here uh, the one pictured here yeah like i said the only one i think we're missing is the sc ruffy fruit van and milk tanker wow just just look at these that is freaking beautiful is this yeah this one's mitten box too these have never been opened this tape is still secure that is so freaking cool let's see here now this one's definitely been opened before but we've got a fearless freddy as we can see he's upside down in his box but he looks i'm not seeing really any sun damage at all at least uh right now as we can see here those stickers look pretty okay maybe a little bit there on the back but the cars look phenomenal he's still got his box here on the back we can see rocky now sadly rocky does not have a box but um here we can see him uh just set up there there's freddy there's sir handle and speaking of sir handle ladies and gentlemen we've got him too similar case to fearless freddy where we can tell he's been uh, out of the box before he's definitely gonna need some uh, dusting a little bit of cleaning not sure what that white mark on the front is but just look at it i mean that is that is insane to see you know how many years it's been since i've seen a track master box and just look at this thing the coaches look phenomenal the engine looks phenomenal this is this is just this is earth shattering i'm not gonna lie I, I might end up crying again we'll see all right ladies and gentlemen we've got ben and ben is brand new in boxes we can see he's still got the supports there we've got the truck with the load here's a look at the back with that and a little window to his face no sun damage at all on him he is freaking mint and again brand new in box same thing with bill here we've got both of the Clayworks twins new and I'm shaking I'm so excited are you are you serious right now just just look at that are you serious we've got them both both Bill and Ben brand new in box all right ladies and gentlemen looks like he's brand new in box too we've got a brand new mint in box Toby look at that that is freak look at there's a better look at the layout that I was trying to show you guys earlier whoa Oh my, this, I saw these so much in like Walmart and just like, again, Kmart, places like that back in the day. Haven't seen one of these in so long. Yeah, he's new in box. Look at the little things in the, in the wheels. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? That is, oh my God, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mavis. Now she has been open before, got a little bit of sun damage on the face, but I really don't care. I, I think I had maybe one Mavis as a kid. And I don't even know if it was Tragmaster. It was probably a take along. Here she is now. And just just, just look at that. That is so freaking cool. If I could even get her face in camera. There we go. Just look at this thing. And what I, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. What I loved about these boxes as a kid is they always had descriptions of the character you were getting. And I think that's what influences me now with like model train boxes. Uh... Tommy and Playrail and Trackmap, they've always been ahead of the curve. We know that. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Bert, and Bert is brand spanking new in box. This one has never been opened either, as we can see. Just a little bit dusty here on the outside. Got a no sun damage on the face. Got a little window to see him as well. And here's the little list on the back of him. Wow, just another picture there on the side. This is this is so freaking cool to see. There's still more. Okay, let's keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Teasel with a milk tanker and some track. Now, it looks like this one's seen a little bit of love before. Uh, it's been opened. Wow, that face is freaking mint, though. Wow, it looks like the only thing that suffered any bit of sun damage is that milk tanker a little bit, as you can see there. Save for that, this Diesel is pretty freaking good condition that's that's insane okay he's screaming at me we gotta do him ladies and gentlemen we have edward a blue track tommy edward new in box he is sadly pretty sun damaged kind of like the other one we saw before as we can see from the face and the body but look at that kmart tag there ten dollars and just look at this thing edward was one of the hardest ones for me to find as a kid and just here he is I don't know if I can open this one. I think this one just has to stay on display. This is just too insane to me, honestly. Just, 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 are you kidding me? Let's see, we've got Diesel 10 again, and this one is a little bit more rough condition as we can see from the face, but he's got his track. We've got 
a troublesome truck back there that looks in phenomenal shape as well. This one is a little bit rough here on the front, but I'm not going to allow. Probably still have him on display. Not that bad. We've got, oh, we've got Spencer here. We've got Spencer, who has some pretty interesting sun damage, as we can see there on the back of the cab. Oh, there we go. He's finally coming down. And not really anything on the face. Save for that, he looks pretty good. A little bit on the tender. We've got the track and all of that still as well. All right, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. This one's been screaming at me. Is this a... This is a never-before-opened Murdoch. Are you... Are you... What? Look at this thing. It's still got the... It's still got the plastic wraps on the tender. Yeah, this one has never been opened before. Doesn't look like there's any saturation or sun damage there on the face. Wow. Murdoch was definitely one of my favorite Trackmaster toys as a kid just because of how big he was and different. And to see him new in box like this again, I'm almost, I'm almost happy we switched back to the down thing. I, you all don't want to see the tears in my eyes. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. What? We'll get to Rusty in a second. Is this a... A brand new inbox freaking Henry. No way. Yeah, he's still got the plastic on the tender. Are you freaking... No sun damage on the face. This is a mint Henry new inbox. What's the date on it? Does it say a date? Please say a date. 2005. 2005 Henry. Brand new inbox. No sun damage at all. That is so freaking cool to me. I, I If I can get the components, we have to build this set. This exact set. And I'm going to put it on a table. And it will be the coolest thing in the world and i'll take it to train shows mark my words all right not too much now left we've got a brand new inbox emily with no sun damage at all what are you freaking right after I, I, i'm in utter shock right now we have a freaking emily no damage at all plastic never been taken out or taken off she is mint a mint emily with yeah, of course, the track there in the bot. If it's never been opened, the track's got to be there. I mean, wow. Just freaking what? That is, okay. All right. I don't think the rest of these are brand new in box, but we've still got them. We've got a Thomas who, all right, I'm not going to lie. That still looks pretty damn mint to me. I don't see any sun damage. That face looks good. What's the date on this one? 2005. We've got a basically mint 2005 Thomas. He's just separated from the plastic, as we can see there. We've got Salty, who somehow ended up sideways but if you take a look at him he looks to be in pretty damn good condition too no paint missing from the face yeah he looks great and i kind of dodged him earlier let's get back to him ladies and gentlemen we got rusty now he's got a bit of sun damage on the face as you can see there on the right side but save for that looks like this guy's mint we've got a rusty with the box now too and his tracks as well and that should clear out at least most of the engines or this first tote i think there are two more to go through oh boy let's get to it all right now box number two doesn't have as much stuff in it but it's got plenty of gems ladies and gentlemen we have the thomas water and coal station set now this one here is not new in box this has been opened and i opened it a little bit ago just to make sure everything was in it but i mean it we still got it. We still got it with the box as well. Let's just go ahead and move this one out of the way. Just take a look at this. We got a little bit of sun fading. You know, it's definitely seen better days, but look at that price. $15 at Walmart. $15 at Walmart. You... It's okay, eBay sellers. Keep trying to justify what you do. Just, just keep trying. It's all right. Here's a look at the back with all these accessory kits, the different engines, uh, the different sets. Now, this is the one I'm really after, the Thomas... And the timber yard set with Terrence. That's the that's the that's the Mona Lisa of Tomy. And there's a little bit of damage here, as we can see. But I believe the set itself is complete. The Thomas is a little bit sun faded, but if you guys would like, we'll do a video opening that up as well. Let's see. Next up, we have the Sodor Quarry Loader. Now, this one I have not opened up yet at all. I'm not sure what exactly is in it. Uh, I can tell from the box that it's a. Uh, a little bit sun faded and i'm pretty sure it's been yeah it's been opened as we can see here but here we can see the illustrations or not illust picture pictures not illustrations on the side and uh how this thing worked it would load these little balls up the excavator and into a wagon and here's a look at the back not as sun faded so we can actually get a look at the same thing let's you know what let's see if everything's in here i actually haven't opened this one yet it looks like, okay, that Thomas is pretty sun faded. 
Um, yeah, we, this Thomas has definitely seen better days, but he's there. Um, looks like we got all the main part. We're missing the little balls. Dang it, but uh, it's all right. I'm sure I can find some of those to replace that eventually. And at least we got the box. The boxes are still some of the coolest things for me to see anyway, since it's been so long. All right, we got those two. Now, the last two in the box are Trackmaster. Here we have this one. We have Scarlowe at the Lumberyard set. And I, this set was very random to me as a kid, since I can't remember an episode where Scarlowe was at the Lumberyard even now. But I mean, uh, there, it, there probably was some episode that somebody will comment about and be like, it was this one from season 38. And I'll be like, oh, okay, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Here's a look at the back where we can see the set itself. And this thing... I mean, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure the entire thing is complete. Let's go ahead and peek on in here. It looks like it is, and I see Scarlowe in there. All right, there's that one, ladies and gentlemen. This one, you know, sadly not new in box, but the box is in pretty damn good shape, as we can see here. I would love to do an uh, unboxing or review of this one, too, so be sure to let me know if you guys would like to see that. And lastly, this one has never been opened before. Got a little bit of sun fading here on the side of the box, but the piece itself looks perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Toby's windmill and it works. Yeah, a little bit of sun fading here on the side. It's almost like this part is and this part isn't, as we can see there. Hello, Roxy. And there is the um, back where we can see Toby and the windmill itself. This one has never been opened though. And uh, you know, actually now that I look at it, there's a little bit of sun fade on the uh, propellers themselves. I might open this thing for the future layout whenever that gets built or permanent layout, but I'm not 100% sure. At the very least, I'm gonna clean it off, but there is that one. And that leaves one more tote left, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now this one has quite a bit more in it, as I'm sure you can already see. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Jeremy at the hangar. And this one, I, clearly, as you can see, it's been opened, but it's got all the pieces. We've got the tower part here, a little bit of fading on that side, but nothing too bad. We've got a Jeremy, which, uh, pretty faded himself but i mean it's still cool to have a trackmaster jeremy anyway and we got his hanger so there's that all with the box it kind of just fell out of the box but it's okay let's see next up we've got harold at the hanger and this one yeah we got harold in there too a little bit of sun fade as well we've got the little helipad which is only really sun faded on this side from the looks of it and we've also got this pretty tang good looking hanger which doesn't seem to have any sun fade or really anything wrong with it either. So we've got those two with the box. This one is a personal favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Harvey. Now, Harvey has been taken out of the packaging. I did take him out a little bit ago just to take a look at him because uh, I really freaking like Trackmaster Harvey. I was, you know, I don't remember what age I was, but I remember very vividly getting this at a party at Chuck E. Cheese and I lost his motor car like three days later at school and it it really freaking sucked but I, I always loved harvey harvey was one of my favorite track masters and here he is with the box with the track just what a freaking banger and i think that might be the last engine but i mean it, still a good engine to leave you know that's a good note to leave on one of my favorites just look at that look at that face look at those cheeks banger engine right there are you kidding me there's more we have another one of these packs we have the uh, a repeat of the Sodor Mining Co. Blue Brake Van and uh, Ice Cream Truck thing. And this one has never been opened before either. Holy shit, I did not expect that. That is freaking awesome. Oh, we've got another one. We've got Far Farmer McColl's Farm. We've got this one too. This one's got the, you know, truth be told, I don't really know what to call this thing. It looks like a cattle car, but it's got chickens in it. So maybe it's uh, named something unique. I don't know. We'll see. Put, um... Here's this one, new in box, and the animals just look phenomenal in this. This is just, yeah, this has never been opened before at all. The tape is secure on both sides. So two more of those. We've got, oh my God, we've got pristine track packs, track packs that have never been opened. As we can see here, we've got this straight and curved pack, 22 pieces of that. We've got, okay, this is a favorite of mine. We've got the Tomy expansion set, and this thing you couldn't have a complete train set if you didn't have this. It came with this truck, this tanker, this brake van, and all of the track you see here. And we're just going to make sure that that stuff's in here just because, I, I, hell, I'm curious. Oh, my God, it is. How's the truck? Woo, ladies and gentlemen, it's got its load in there. I'm seeing the tanker. Look at all that. Look at, oh, 
I'm having a nostalgia overdose. Are you kidding me? And it's got the box. There that one is, ladies and gentlemen. Another personal favorite coming up. We've got Nelson at the quarry. New in box, pristine. The box is a little bit roughed up, but this thing has never been opened before. And here on the back, we can see what this thing even was. It was a, uh, this case here, or uh, that's right behind the box, Fold it out. You could carry it around with you, and it could just be added to a Trackmaster set and make a quarry that Nelson right there could work at. And I'm not seeing any sun damage to Nelson, to the packaging here, anything. This thing is pristine. Holy sh... Okay, there's that one. Uh, not too much more now. Let's see. This is pristine, too. We've got another straight and curve pack. Another 22 pieces that have never been opened up. So there is these two you know i have like three tubs of track already at my house so this is about to become a pro i have to build a layout soon like a mega one a third one we have a third straight curve and j just a third freaking track pack of the same thing are you kidding me and they're both all three of them are brand new that is that is insane what 2008 three 2008 brand new in box track packs all right we have one that's i think this one has been opened before uh no, it looks like the tape is secure, but we have this one as well, a Switch Track Pack. This one comes with seven different switches, as we can see here on the side. Doesn't look like this one has been opened before either. All right, and one more. What is this one? We have one more Switch Track Pack. This one is also brand new in box, never been opened. Uh, as we can see here, yeah, that tape is secure. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes the last tote. So that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the... Giant Trackmaster uh, birthday unboxing, I get. I still can't believe any of this is real. This is still just so shocking to me. Imagine if any of this was thrown away. That was almost the fate of everything you have seen today. Brand new in packaging, Farmer McColls, these, these trucks here, Busy B. James, it all would have just ended up in the trash. That is just mind boggling to me. And somehow it's now in my care. That is just just, just thank you again so much, Sissy, for this. This is so freaking cool. And shout out Ian for giving me the opportunity to now take care of these things and hopefully put it towards a, you know, maybe a Trackmaster Museum one day. At least a awesome ass display and a really cool layout. And I'll keep you guys up to date with that as well. Now, again, really quick, I want to reiterate nothing you see in here is for sale. This will go on display. You guys will see that whenever that's done. Um, I'm not planning on letting any of this go. You know, uh, I did get to talk to Ian a little bit and he let me know that again, this is his childhood and I, I wanna respect that as much as I can. If I can, I wanna restore some of these messed up engines, at least keep them, you know, in good condition or, you know, with his blessing, maybe turn some into custom engines or other stuff. But none of this is gonna be sold. This is all now a part of a private collection and get ready to see some pretty freaking cool Trackmaster videos at the very least. Muddy Poppins, thank you for the inspiration. I'll, I'll hopefully be on your level soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. And if there's anything here you want to see a video on in specific, be sure to let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely consider making an unboxing or dedicated review to whatever you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, just be sure to let me know in the comments. And holy, hell, just thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to go play with some trains now. I'm really excited. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one for this uh, Rocky review or whatever we got coming out next. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. This is oh, the best birthday ever. Best freaking birthday ever. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.